Oh my God, no, I am throwing that out. Wasn't planning on doing this at the park. Today we are going to be celebrating Ichigo no Hi, which is strawberry day. <gasps> wasn't planning on doing this at the park but here we are it's a beautiful beautiful day so why not today we are going to be celebrating Ichigo no Hi which is strawberry day oh bless you so 1-5 January 15th most of Japan actually celebrates it on the fifth first day of the month fifth day I mean first month of the year fifth day 1-5 but Lawson's which is one of the most popular convenience stores here, celebrates today. So they have special strawberry snacks and sweets and we're gonna be trying them. It's gonna be really fun because guess what? I don't really like strawberry flavored anything. Also fun fact, Ichigo is not actually how you say 15 though. It's actually Jugo, which is 10, five. But yeah, like I said, I don't like strawberry flavored anything, but I do love strawberries. And the strawberries here in Japan, like it's a whole, Spectacle. Spectacle? I think that's the right word I'm looking for. Um, strawberry season, I believe, is about six months and it starts around January ish. And the strawberries here are just like the most juicy, red, beautiful, perfect strawberries, picturesque that you've ever seen in your life or tasted in your life. Okay, so first we got a strawberry milk roll cake. This is the one I'm most excited to try because. It just looks really yummy. It has whipped cream, a strawberry in the middle, strawberry flavored cake, and then like a jelly. I hate jelly. 
Also, yes, I'm wearing red lipstick to celebrate. This was 240 yen, which is a little less than $2.40. Packaged so cutely. So I was recording in Los Angeles a little bit and I think the cashier got mad at me and she low-key didn't like me. <gasps> All right, we're going to try this one. Let's try and get a little bit of everything in there. Got the jelly, the cake. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's good. Wow. So, I've said this plenty of times. Hold on. I've said this plenty of times before, but sweets in Japan are not that sweet, which is I love. They don't put like an excessive amount of sugar. It's just like the perfect amount. And the whipped cream is just so fluffy and delicious. And I'm usually not a jelly person, but this is great. I would absolutely get this a thousand times again. And I would give it a, honestly, like a 10 out of 10. I'm not even lying. Let's move on to the next before I get a stomach ache. These aren't really a strawberry day special, but they are a seasonal special. So in Japan, they are very big on celebrating different seasons and different fruits and produce for the, that is in season. Um, like pineapples, citrus fruits like yuzu or shikwasa, strawberries. Pretty much every snack that you can find will have a seasonal flavor. So these are usually like coated in chocolate. They're called galbo, but it has a strawberry coating with a chocolate like brittle type of inside. And yeah, let's try these out. Okay, so this is what they look like. More like, it looks like a a smoothie. I do not like that. I'm not even gonna finish it. That's like one of the strawberry flavors that I don't like. Why it tastes like like fake. And the chocolate's not that good either. Ugh. Four out of ten. Alright, on to the next one before it melts. So here we have putoron, putoron, putaron, putoron. Look. And it has a little strawberry day uh, thingy logo. So this is a, oh, that does not smell good. <laughs> so this is a pudding. Strawberry mirko. I think it said two layers of milk or three layers and strawberry like jelly. Oh god, I'm scared to try this one. Okay, it's just getting worse by the second. I don't like that at all. Oh my god, no. I am throwing that out. First of all, the texture was like very much like cottage cheese. Oh my god, there's gnats everywhere. It was like cottage cheese. That did not taste good. Two out of ten, honestly. Do not recommend. That was really gross. And that one was also 240 yen. That one's going in the trash. I don't even want to lick this off, but I have to. Oh my god, it got stuck. <laughs> got stuck between my teeth. That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> it's also a little bit awkward because there are people walking by. And people don't do this in Japan. They're very like discreet. So they're looking at me like this American, this guy Jean probably, and I'm like a little embarrassed. But I'm trying. Alrighty. Next we have strawberry melon pan, which is melon bread with whipped cream and like a strawberry jelly and little bits of strawberry on the dough part. Smells good. I love melon bread. All right, let's look at the inside. That's what it looks like. It looks like an egg, <laughs> but pink. All right, let's try it. So when I initially bit into it, I did not like that. So I would eat the bread itself with the strawberry on it, but the filling is what like cancels it for me but like the flakiness of the actual bread part 
<laughs> so that's all I got because I didn't want to they had a few other ones but I didn't want to try them all because I don't know like three of these things I'm not going to finish and I don't want to waste them so I hope that you guys enjoy that I'm going to keep on trying more strawberry things follow me on Instagram to see that I do a lot of taste testing on there um, because I'll just like randomly do them when I come across stuff and it's not enough to like put in one video um, so that should be fun I went and got myself some real food because I knew I'd still be hungry so I got a little tuna mayo onigiri and some fried chicken all right guys well that pretty much sums it up I hope you enjoyed this and got a little bit of taste of Japan thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video